Hello and welcome. I'm on the lot at the used lot and uh, this is a conversion van and I'm going to try to stay on this side of the van because uh, they have music playing out here but uh, you get the idea from this side. I just thought it was amazing. This thing is a 17 all right, Chevy 2500 and it's converted. The paint is pretty nice on it. I will say that. This thing is 57.9 used. All right, it is four years old with 20,000 miles on it. And uh, I think that's a bit much, and <laughs> is certainly in my opinion. Uh, holy mackerel. Uh, by the way, on this van, I, th I thought it was pretty interesting. One of the packages, cruise control is part of a package, $395 package. Really? It doesn't come with cruise control from the factory? I mean, because they buy the 2500 van and then convert it. And so are you telling me it doesn't have cruise control on it? Holy mackerel. Oh, by the way, uh, there's a spin scooter here in the middle of the uh, back of the alley in case you need to get a ride somewhere. I think that's pretty funny, but um, <laughs> holy moly. It's huge. It's got the top so you can almost stand up in the thing. But I think that, you know, 57 nine, with tax, you're well over $60,000 used for this. And... Uh, well, I will say, if you have a family, this is way better traveling than a Suburban or something like that, for sure. For sure, better way to travel. But, uh, you know, 60, I did one of these new, uh, you know, conversion van a couple of years ago on this channel, and it was, you know, high 60s, brand new. So that maybe this is where used cars are going. These are not in huge demand. You don't see them around. I will tell you, in 2001, uh, we bought an E150 conversion van, new from Ford, but they had tons of them on the lot. It was like 30 grand. That was expensive then. I thought, holy mackerel. And uh, it was great for hauling the kids around and everything. Tons of room in it. This one's, uh, you know, super big. Way better than some kind of SUV or whatever. You know, even a, a Tahoe XL or whatever they call them now. Right, this would be better. But, you know, holy mackerel. I mean, we're just getting a little bit crazy here on prices. I think on used prices. I mean, holy moly. I mean... What can, what can we say? What else can we say about that? I can't tell what kind of tires these are. Uh, what the heck? What do we got here? Has these been replaced? Oh, Falcons? Oh, really? I can't even tell what the heck is going on here. It would be hard to believe that these have already been replaced. It doesn't show it on the Carfax. A lot of the Carfax on this one, it just says recommended maintenance performed. That's brilliant. End tire? I don't even know what that is. End tire? I don't even know. This is made in Indiana where most of these are made, right? It's a beautiful looking van. This is faded out. I'm disappointed in the plastic on this. That is faded and that's uh, very disappointing to me considering the cost of this van. This uh, it's rated at, what did it say? 13, 16 or something like that. This has the six liter in it. So it won't let you down on power. Look, if you got kids, a conversion van is the way to go. People don't realize that. It's way better than an SUV. There's tons of room in it, and uh, super nice inside. So um, that's the story today. Because of music uh, on the other side of this van, we're not going to be able to go around the van. But I thought it was pretty interesting at almost $60,000 that it's used. All right? So uh, that's the story on the lot today. The used conversion van for sixty grand, four years old. All right? Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon on the lot.